Hi everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be letting you in my sketchbook for a change. This video is not going to be my usual painting time lapse, but rather a peek behind the scenes, a peek in the preparation I have been doing lately for my paintings and the way I do my studies and practice before I finally decide to start a painting. You can see here that I have been sketching fabrics and hands which was meant to be the preparation for the idea I had for my Gemini painting. I ended up starting this painting, but I didn't like the way it was turning, so I gave up on it. I completely changed the subject and the concept for it, as you may have already seen my Instagram account. But I'm happy I did this practice and it was a fun process to sketch the fabrics and the hands. The practice stays and it was a good time, so I don't regret any of it anyway. You will notice that I haven't filmed the process of the fabric sketching and the first few hands, I think it was the first page, and that's because I tend not to film while I sketch ever. It is my way of keeping the sketchbook a safe place for me, a way to convince my brain that nothing has to be perfect, that I am free to experiment and do whatever I like without judgement, but after doing those first couple of pages, I wanted to try to complete the challenge of the 100 hands, so I thought that it would be nice to have that footage if I were to complete the challenge. I ended up not completing it, I think I reached around 50 hands and then I got bored, but it doesn't matter. I had filmed the process and I thought it would be fun to share it anyway. I believe that if I had decided to swap around a with a few media instead of sticking to graphite for the whole process, I might have been more interested in finishing the challenge, but doing it only in graphite and especially with hands where there is not much variety, I think, it was way too boring for me. I just gave up at some point, I didn't want to keep sketching it, so I didn't. Maybe the 100 heads challenge could be more interesting because there is a lot of variety there and many things to keep someone interested in that, but I don't know. If I try it in the future, I'll make sure to share it with you and compare the two and get, let you know in my experience. But anyway, you can see as I mentioned that I stuck with graphite supplies. I used a few different pencils to see what kind of hardness is best for me. I combined them at the start, I tried to use them separately later on. I used a few from Faber-Castell and a few from Stadler Lumograph after a while to see if the richer, deeper, darker tones would be more interesting. But I think that the one that worked best for me was the 2B hardness from the Faber-Castell, but obviously that's personal preference and I may change my mind if I'm drawing something different in the future. The sketchbook you can see me uh, draw in, in is the Arteza sketchbook. It has like a hundred sheets, I think, and it was a pack of two when I bought it. It was very cheap for the amount of paper it contains and it's actually a very good quality paper for dry media so I would definitely suggest you to try it if you're into that. Um, I would though warn you that the 100 sheets are a lot of paper and if you are anything like me it may feel overwhelming to have a sketchbook like that in front of you. I actually wouldn't buy anything similar in the future just because of that. I like the paper, I like the quality, the price was amazing, but having such a huge sketchbook in front of me, knowing that it would take ages to finish it, is kind of demotivational for me, if that's even a word. I think that having the opportunity to finish a sketchbook, to feel the accomplishment and then have to buy and choose a new one, to open it and feel the freshness, have the empty sketchbook in front of you is very motivational and it's something that I would like to feel very often in order to keep sketching and to keep using my sketchbook. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind if you decide to buy a sketchbook like this one. Anyway, I do intend to finish it. I know it will take time and I'm using it for very loose sketches, but yeah, just my two cents on that. 
when I do start sketching something, um, if it, even if it is for a preparation for a painting, but especially when it's just something that I want to practice, I try to set a goal for myself. I want to have something in my mind, my intention in mind, what I want to accomplish with sketching and with practicing. And with this one, I definitely wanted to make sense of hands and to feel uh, confident enough that I can freehand and paint hands properly before I get into what I was planning to do with my Gemini painting. But other than that, lately with all my art, but especially with my sketching, I want to get more loose. I tend to be very stiff and I tend to just copy things instead of trying to understand shapes and values and I want to do more of that. I think that after a while I became faster and indeed I stayed looser in my sketches which is also why I stopped blending after a while but I still want to work on the shapes and values part. I do understand that the practice paid off and after 50 hands I was very confident in getting to the next one and uh, painting the sketching the fingers faster but I still need to work on my way of sketching, I think. I tend to go line by line, if that makes any sense. I don't see the full shape and the full subject when I start the sketch, which is something that I want to work in in the future, but I didn't accomplish that here, at least. I still think that it's good to have an intention, even if you don't accomplish it by the end of the sketchbook session or whatever you're trying to do, but Having something in mind will always make it better. The practice will uh, be more meaningful and you'll probably have a better result by the end of it. Sometimes it's also fun to just sketch and have fun, obviously, but if it is for a purpose, if it is meant for practice, for something specific, it's good to know where you're trying to go before starting to get there. Anyway, my idea for the Gemini painting before starting all of that was to have the two hands kind of holding the Gemini symbol in between them and have fabrics flow around them to symbolize the air because air is the element of Gemini. So that's why I did all of that. But it didn't work out well at all. Um, I don't think I achieved the flow, the fabrics seemed very stiff and didn't have the movement I was going for and it didn't take too long to realize that having all these layers on top of each other with pastels was very fast becoming a very dirty result. The colors were mixing with each other in a way that wasn't pleasant in the eye and I still had a lot of layers to add on top of it so I, I knew that it wasn't going to work very well. I know better now, I know not to expect so much from such complex, I think, ideas with pastels. It would be much easier to do that with uh, maybe oils or even gouache or acrylics, I don't know. But with pastels it was a very uh, difficult goal to achieve, I think. That's why I gave up very early. I just uh, gave up on the whole idea because I wanted to stick with this medium and have a consistent uh, body of work when I would finish the Zodiac series. And I had a completely different idea very fast after that, but I'll talk more about it in my next video because I want to talk a little bit about how all this preparation went, well, was for nothing, for this painting specifically, but how fast after that I just improvised and went into the painting and finished it very fast, much faster than I expected. So sometimes maybe preparation is not completely necessary. You just have to improvise and let your instinct guide you to complete a painting and to be happy with the result. But that's gonna be next week's topic, I think, together with the Gemini painting, the one that I finished and not the one that I didn't finish. So for now I'm gonna leave you and hope that you enjoyed this video and all the thoughts that I had while sketching the hands and the fabrics for this session. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up before you go and consider subscribing for more videos like this and for more painting videos, obviously. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, be safe, be happy and keep going for your dreams.
बाय